Good afternoon, my name is Hassan. I'm uh, in Ingsai 226, and I'm here somewhere here in Bahrain. Um I'm supposed to be here for a Frosh Meetup Club Fair. Today's Club Fair is Thursday, um, but I think they still need some time to set up, and I had some time to kill. So I was here thinking about how, um, you know, on the first day of school, we have people from like different countries are going to have people coming from different cities like people who have not been to Toronto before and I was thinking about how there's always like a big rush on the first day of school with uh, people trying to find their classes people trying to find like you know where their cohort is and just like how much stress there is on that day and then thinking about like when we're going to be on our first day at U of T that's going to be magnified by like a hundred because campus is like so big and the buildings are like literally everywhere so I thought I'd make this video while I have some time to kill just to you know help our cohort I'm part of the short Monday cohort so that's the cohort that starts on Monday with calculus one and after three hours I think our last class is like physics um, just to help them find where our classes are so that on the first day of school they're not like you know lost so if you're watching this on the first day of school I'm going to kind of virtually walk with you. Uh, if you're like me and you don't know how to remember the labyrinth of directions, I'll show you how to like get to where you need to go using uh, landmarks, how to get there intuitively. I'll show you like some landmarks you can look out for. Just like follow, virtually like walk with me through the video and hopefully um, this video will be able to help you find where you need to go. So our first class, I believe uh, on Monday for our cohort is gonna be calculus one that is I'll put the schedule up on, if I remember to edit this uh, in the video, we're going to be heading to the Cauflar Center. I've not heard of that before. So I'm going to be finding our classes alongside you guys, since I don't know where any of this is. So, uh, all right, let's get started. I hope this helps. All right, I'm here outside the uh, inside common room. It is very, looks very nice. I'd love to be inside this room right now. However, this machine thing will not let me in. So I'm here outside, unfortunately. So here we are. I think our first class uh, today should be a Monday. If you're watching this uh, at 12 o'clock, you're going to be going to a calculus one lecture. I think we're lecture uh, 101, whatever that means. Uh, and that is inside a building that is indicated on our timetable as KP108, I think it was. KP108 is the call flare center. So we're going to go find that and then hopefully through this video. Uh, you can also like kind of estimate how long it takes um, to actually get there from... So I started off at the common room. I thought that was an appropriate place to start uh, inside Bahin. So we're going to walk from Bahin to the call flare center. So I'm just here going down the steps from the inside common room. And out the front door. It is very hot today. So it's a good thing that our classes are gonna be in the summer. Now in the summer, in the winter and fall, there's a green food truck here, which is very cool. I don't know if this is here every day. Um, that is the Galbraith building. So this is the Bahin building that I was just in. This is going to be our home as ink size and you can know it is here because it is right in front of the Galbraith building which is where the engineering welcome center is uh it is it does get very loud outside here so you may need to i apologize if you cannot hear me i'm going to try and talk a bit louder i just don't want people to think i'm crazy because i'm talking to myself um okay so we're going to cross the street here Oh, I think you have to actually like press this to, for it to work. Nice. Oh yeah. See, it turns yellow straight away after you touch it. Uh, all right, so I'm here uh, in front of the Galbraith building here. Uh, I just crossed the street. It turns out that you were, you don't actually have to cross the street. So I was wrong about that. So if you're watching this, do not cross. Well, I mean, you can cross the street. I would not recommend it. Um, and this, is, this here is St. George Road. I think, yeah, it's St. George Road. Uh, I'm just going to arbitrarily call it Engineering Row because along St. George Road, aka Engineering Row, literally everything 
all the engineering buildings right here. We have my hall here. That's my hall over there, if you can see it, behind the trees. Uh, Galbraith and Bauhan are both here. Everything's basically here. So I just call it Engineering Row because it has all the engineering buildings. Right now, I just turned. So if you were standing at the front doors at Bauhan, just turn to your left and uh, we're gonna walk all the way to my hall. We're here at the physical geography building. Here, and then what you do is that you get here to my hall, and then you're trying to find a place called Ursula Franklin Street. That is basically just like the first street that you will get from Bahin. This is the My Hall Center. It says in a big clock right there. Uh, there are no street signs here, so I guess you just, everyone kind of just goes. It says wait for gap. Yeah, okay, I guess everyone just goes as they can. Stop signs are for losers, I guess. All right, here we go. Just wait for no cars to come and just go. Great. Uh, that's the astronomy and astrophysics building that I'm facing right now. I'm here at Ursula Franklin Street. You will know if you're on U of T campus because there will be these like U of T banners everywhere on the posts. So if you do not see these banners, that means you are outside U of T. You can see the CN Tower in the distance here. So what I'm going to do, so basically, if you were to actually take a shortcut, you would just like get, leave the behind front doors, turn left, walk all the way to Ursula Franklin Street, and then you're going to see a bunch of bike racks here. Uh, and then you just like walk straight. Walk straight towards the bike racks. Uh, and then you just go all the way here. So we're looking for a place called the Koffler Student Center. That's where our calculus one lecture is. So what you do, there's some construction here. I don't know if that's gonna continue, but if you can see there's like a castle in the distance, I don't know if I can zoom in during a video. Yeah. That's like, there's like a castle here. So just look for this castle and just walk towards the castle. And as you can see, this is the Astronomy and Astrophysics Center. If you can see a castle, you are on the right track. It's going to be like a very like run down. Um, be careful. This is McLennan Labs. It is very cool. That's where we're going to, we're going to be uh, in the afternoon at around two o'clock. That's where I think our physics lecture is. Um, but that's going to be after this. So for now, we are walking to the Koffler Student House, or Student Center, whatever it's called. And I basically, I'm just walking straight. There's gonna be like a ton of cars here. Uh, that's the anthropology building. So if you see the anthropology building and you see that castle, you see that castle, hold on. So that was the castle I was talking about. You should see that, you're on the right track, if you can see it. It's great. And we're basically gonna look for like a roundabout. We're supposed to be at a roundabout right now. Uh, it seems they forgot to put stop signs in this area, so just be careful for cars and stuff, especially on the first day when everyone's like in a rush. So you pass the anthropology buildings, just keep walking towards the castle. So literally, to find your calculus lecture, you literally walk outside Bahin, get to Ursula Franklin Street, and then just walk to the castle. The castle will be your... Is this snowing? It is actually snowing. It is July. Or is that like garbage? I don't know. There's like something like... Oh, you see all this? I, I don't know if that's snow or what. It might be like waste something. That is... Yeah, see? I have no idea what that is. All right, we are here at the castle almost. That is the architecture building. If you are an architect, then you would go here, but civil engineers make better architects, in my opinion. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, you once you get to the roundabout, this is kind of like a roundabout that we have here, uh, now that we've gotten to the castle. So once you hit the castle, you just turn right. Turn right and then just keep walking at the roundabout, you'll know there's a roundabout because there are all these like tram wires here. We have something called 
the TTC here. Uh, and they're like street cars that just go all around this area. So you just keep walking. This is still the campus. I believe this is the North Borden building to our right. I don't know what that is for. Uh, I think this is, I'm going the right way. You're supposed to keep walking here. Is this it? Okay. Great. So once you hit like, okay. So once you hit the North Borden building, what you do, you'll run into like this sign here. You'll see like this like pillar. I'll show you guys the surroundings. You're basically at like the back side of this castle building thing. You'll see like a Gryffindor banner up here. Uh, it should look something like this. So this is the Koffler Center. You just walk in here. Uh, if you see like this rickety track. I don't know what that is. Is that like a pub or something? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, if you see, you, you just turn right. And then when you see the rickety building, then you're in the right place. Because that right there is the Koffler house. Beware of cars because they do pass here. Uh, I think this guy's trying to pass me, so I'm gonna go. So that is the Koffler house. You just walk straight in, open this door. No problem. And then you just keep walking. We'll see KP113. And our class is in KP108. We'll see the auditorium, so I just walk straight from there. And that is our class. This is where our calculus lecture is. So now we are here, and we're going to be here for an hour. Hopefully, I think this took around like seven minutes from Bahin to walk. So, yep, there we go. All right, so we just finished our calculus lecture. I'm outside the wait, which is where our calculus lecture, that's where our auditorium would be. So now our next lecture uh, for our Monday, short Monday cohort would be the ESC 101, which I believe is Praxis, and that is in uh, a location on your timetable listed as My 150. That is actually in my hall. So now we're gonna be headed to my hall. So you do, you just exit this auditorium and Turn left, just walk straight out these doors where we came from. I'm trying to be quieter inside the building, so be respectful for those who are inside the building. So you're gonna see this rickety old ancient buildings that we were seeing when we came here. You just look at them, face them, and then you just walk straight towards there's kind of like a factory looking thing here I don't know this is like there's like coming out of this yeah so you just walk thing and we're just we're just walking straight I didn't do any turns I just walked straight uh, this is like it says bike chain here maybe I don't know what's, but it is still part of the UFT campus this is the Bancroft building uh, I wonder if there's like an inside way to get up there. Who knows? The Earth Sciences Center. Oh, okay. This is like the environmental science faculty. It's kind of ironic that the environmental science faculty has like, is like enclosed on all four sides by buildings and not by greenery. Anyways, you just walk like right through this gate here. There's going to be like a few pillars and we're just going to walk all the way to my hall. There's like, a pic like people having a picnic here. Asian fast food delivery, very cool. And we just keep walking. I'm gonna call this place Gate Road because of how we, we are walking under gate right now. So you just walk straight through Gate Road. You're gonna come up to like this like intersection here where you're gonna see these posts. So you have like Bancroft Avenue here, like a legit name. So once you're here, what you do, you just face this big rock and you just turn right and you just like keep, keep going. 
and then we just walk straight you will know you are going in the right direction because there will be like full rocks over here i'm going to call this place this road i'm going to call it cool rock alley because this is the alley of very cool rocks so you just walk alongside these rocks to admire the rocks and just keep walking follow the rocks the rocks will take you to where you need to be which is my hall for practice i'm going to rewatch this video when the day that is actually our first day of school and wonder what our calculus lecture was like if you're watching this on the first day and you just finished your calculus lecture drop a comment telling me how the calculus lecture went Hassan from one month ago is curious. Hey guys, it's Hassan from one day after this recording here. Uh, at the time of filming this recording, I thought that Monday would in fact be the first day of school, but it does turn out that it is actually Thursday that is the first day of school. So um, just keep that in mind for the duration. Which I'm going to call Rock Alley, cool Rock Alley. We just turn left at the Anthropology Building and you just walk straight. That is a truck. The city is very loud. That is for sure. I think we are back where we just were. These are Michael Lennon Physical Laboratories. Which is very cool. So I'm just walking. In front of me is my hall. You'll know you're on the right track. You see like these bikes. This big like squarish building that you'll see here it's blocked by trees right now it's behind these trees that's my hall it's the newest building at the university of toronto i believe or at least at the engineering faculty i can't speak for the entire university uh so on our left you'll pass the astronomy and astrophysics thing so if you see that that means we're on the right track and you just keep walking straight Just keep walking, just keep walking. And we are literally back where we started, which is the My Whole Center for Engineering, Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Uh, memorize what this place looks like. It is just a big like building with blue windows and yellow bricks. This is like our second home. This is also where the food trucks are. So that's also a good thing so basically wait for gap uh no cars here no cars here you just go because apparently they don't get paid enough to put crosswalks here and you just walk straight i just crossed the road and i'm going to walk straight to the front door which is right here very cool i think so our lecture practice lecture is in my 150 which to get there you open this door very cool open some more doors oh you got to pull on this one see the big sign that says welcome back school uh let's see you see the sign here can i like tap this no Okay, I guess this is just, uh, wait, so you turn left. Oh, there's a big, like, blackboard here. Very cool. There are people studying here, so I'm going to try and be quiet. Very cool people doing some very cool research at the UFT. That is what makes the UFT awesome. Anyways. So from there, we just turn right and walk straight. There's a good place to sit. Apparently, people sleep in here when they're doing the bridge project, according to Angstai folklore. I cannot confirm or deny these statements. And once you hit these gates, you turn to your right. See when it says Lean Margaret Lau Auditorium? This is my 150, aka my whole room 150. And this is where our practice lecture is. So you just open these, oh, it's actually open right now. Very cool. Ooh, I am here. Oh, 
there are actually people in here. Whoops. Hey guys, Hassan from Post Recording here again. Uh, just wanted to let you know in the next clip, I mistakenly referred to our next lecture as a physics lecture. It's actually an engineering computation lecture, uh, not physics. Just, just keep that in mind. Okay, so we have just finished practice. I'm here in front of the forum. Uh, today's August 4th. I think our first day of class is like September 8th, I think. So if you are watching this on the first day of school and you just finished the and you just finished practice, then let me know how it went because there's a lot of folklore surrounding this class. Apparently people like love it or hate it. Anyways, our next class or your next class is going to be um, I think it's physics 5180, right? I think that's yeah, that's classical mechanics. So that is in uh, the Mechalism, it says like MP, yeah, like MP 102. So that's like in the Mechalenin Physical Laboratories. So that's where we're going to be headed. Uh, all right, so what you're going to do, you see, you're just going to exit here. Uh, we are going to take a shortcut, so we're not going to go out here. We want to stay inside the building because the building is air conditioned and outside is not. You basically just need to hit. There's still strength, actually. Maybe you do stay. Maybe you do go outside here. Never mind. So, start here. Turn to your right. Exit these gates. All the gates in this building are push gates. Oh, oh this lady needs to. No problem. Alright, and then you turn left to where I presume you will see a food truck. If not, then. Oh well. And you're literally right here. McLennan Physical Laboratories, Britain Tower. Uh, this is one way to get here, but I think a better way to do this is basically you turn left. And you can go through Ursula Franklin Street because then you'll end up right at your class. So, well, I should zoom out. All right, so we just walk all the way to Ursula Franklin Street. This is, we're back here. Wait for Gap, there is nothing here. Uh, there's something here, so I guess we just gotta wait for, oh, there's a long line of cars here. Come on. We are waiting for Gap, quote unquote. finally have our gap. There we go. Alright, off we go to the Department of Physics and Astrophysics. Uh, if you want to have lunch, there are probably going to be food trucks here. I'd recommend you go have lunch like after class because after our physics lecture here, uh, we're just going to be finished school, right, for Monday. That, this is our last class of the day, right? It's probably going to be like 3 o'clock when we finish, so we can just have lunch and then go home. Because we have a very short Monday, which is made up for by an absolutely insane Wednesday. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We're back at Astronomy and Astrophysics. What you do, you keep going. We're back at like this place where there was construction. I've been here at least like five times today. And you will see this like parking lot thing that we were at like in our first tower and I said we'd come back here. So you do, you're gonna see like these steps, you walk them up and you just walk through this alleyway. The street we were just on is called Ursula Franklin Street by the way. That is the real name, not my arbitrary fun names. This is like a parking garage, so you're kind of like walking up in the parking garage, albeit on the walking space. You're gonna see the stairs here, and you walk up these stairs. This is a completely 
human only area there are no cars here however this place looks like something straight out of the portal video game so it looks like something where port like the portal video games played looks like like some kind of like lab i guess that's because it is a lab but uh anyways i'm gonna call this place portal circle because there's like a sitting area over there and this looks like something out of portal so what you do once you hit this fun place over here is you turn left and you go right into McLennan Physical Laboratories this is where I presume our 5 when 80 lectures are keep walking Once you get here, is that my hole over there? Is that? I have no idea where, what that is. Anyways, you turn left. You should see where it says on your right. It'll be like a staircase sort of thing. Uh, you don't go that way. You turn left. Uh, what is this? Ooh. My God. Woman in physics. Let's see. There's like a sheet here. I cannot, there's like nothing here. But then suddenly like this machine robot thing is making stuff up here on this sheet of nothing. What? That is crazy. How does, what? So this, this thing is literally make something up here out of nothing. This is like literally, this robot is holding like a glass pane right now. It's not like, that's crazy. You see that? How in the, oh wait, what? What the hell? Okay. That is awesome. I don't know how they make that happen, but that is a thing. Physics is awesome. Oh, here we go. Polarization. How can adding a filter? The middle filter past polarization at 45 degrees. Oh, okay. So it's like they're playing with light. I see, I see, I see. That is very, very cool. Anyways, cool stuff aside. I'm about to see some more cool stuff because this is where you walk through these doors. Just keep going. And we are here at MP102. This is our lecture theater. This is where our physics lecture will be. So off you go. Just enter these doors. And there we are. All right, so I'm here literally in the portal circle right now. Uh, I left the McLennan Physical Labs which was over there and from there I just turned left and kept walking straight onto this walkway and then I got to where I am the, the big like factory like building was behind me right now from where I'm sitting I would not recommend this walkway it is at a height and it feels like it will break apart at literally any second um, so use at your own risk anyways if you're watching this on the first day and you got to this point and congratulations that means you made it through your first day here at ufc um today was a monday so i made this video kind of like to help people find where each of their classes are i know how you know it's easy to get lost on this campus this is one of the biggest campuses in canada so it's hard to find you know where each of your classes are especially on the first day so hopefully if uh, this is your first day i hope this video helped you find where each of your classes are i kind of like how to walk through with everyone each class took about like seven seven to eight minutes it took me seven to eight minutes to get from one class to the other so if you leave at like the top of the hour it will take you at around it will take you like around like seven or eight minutes maximum to get to your other class maybe even like five minutes if you like walk at a faster pace than i was i was just kind of like walking leisurely um at a leisurely pace as you could tell um yeah and classes do start on tea time uh, tea time is basically that every class starts at 10 minutes after the scheduled time. So for example, if, uh, for example, our practice lecture was scheduled for like 12 o'clock, then it would start at tea time. So that would be 12.10. So the lecture actually starts at 12.10 and that is just to let people, you know, have some time to actually get to their classes as you probably, uh, maybe you were told today on the first day, but if not, then now I'm telling you. So there you go. Um, hopefully this video helped you. I'm going to try and make one video like this for every day of the week. Uh, and I hope that this will be helpful for those who, you know, for those on their first day. All right. 
if uh, today was your first day, then do let me know how things went, right? Uh, all right, I'll see you in the next video.